Welcome back to Let's Think About IT, Let's Think About Information Technology. And in this video, uh, we are going to continue from where we left off last video, which was making a Java Swing application uh, in IntelliJ, uh, making a 2D shape application actually. And so in this video, we're going to continue uh, to uh, develop our application. Uh, and this video is going to talk about uh, placing the required components for our Swing application. So I'll show you how to do that and in the next video, which is part three, we're gonna learn how to actually implement the actions of each of the components which are placed in our window. So one component might uh, open a color chooser, another component might draw the shape, and another component might even um, calculate the area or calculate the perimeter. So we'll see about that and first, uh, I've opened my shape application project window. I showed you how to make that uh, last video and last video we actually made the JFrame or the uh, or we worked on the frame.java over right over here and I told you guys about how to initialize a JFrame and how to set it up so you can see so this is our frame we had last time and so now on this frame we're actually gonna add some components uh, and the, add the actual like GUI design we're gonna do today so first off, I'm going to actually, um, we need to think about how we need to set up the application. So I actually want to have a panel, uh, which is going to draw the shape essentially. So let's do that. Create a new uh, class in my project uh, directory. It's going to be called shape panel. And I have another um, class which is going to be called the calculation panel so I'll explain everything as we go on the way so let's work on our shape panel now first what I want to do is I want to type extends J panel so this will actually extend from the J panel class so J panel is a Java swing component um, uh, which is used to uh, make GUI applications so a J panel functions like a J frame but it's actually a placeholder or a container for components uh, like buttons labels and those sort of things so the window the window or the frame the J frame can actually hold any component uh, but the J panel is used to um, uh, just organize the, those components in separate containers so that you don't have to rely so that you don't have to rely on the JFrame all the time. Uh, so let's make a constructor public shape panel. And actually I don't want to extend from JPanel. I actually want to make a new instance of the panel so that I can access this instance. Uh, sorry, not instance. I want to make a reference so that I can access this reference or variable anywhere. So I'm going to do public static. Uh, we're going to call this shape panel. Goes new j panel. Oh, I haven't even defined the type. Public static j panel. Shape panel equals new j panel. There we go. You have a shape panel there. So now we can access this from anywhere. Uh, I didn't do the extends j pa uh, extends j panel because then we would have a this keyword. So now we just need to um, set the settings for the J panel using this variable call. So we can do shape panel dot set bounds. So we're gonna set the bounds. So the X coordinate will be, uh, let's see, 10. And then the Y will be 10 as well. The width, I wanna make it Let's say 300 and the height will be 300 as well. So this sets the bounds, the X coordinate on the frame, the Y coordinate on the frame, the width of the panel and the height of the panel. So now let's do shape panel dot set. Let's see, set. Mm, set background. Do a color dot white. Do shape panel dot set 
layout, do layout null because we want to manually place the components on the shape panel. And now we need to do uh, shape panel dot shape panel dot let's see set I think that's all we need to do actually. And oh yes, lastly what we need to do is shape panel. Actually no, we need to do we need to add it to the frame. So we need to use the app frame. Let's see, frame dot app frame. Where didn't I make that static? I need to make this public. So let's do frame dot app frame dot um, add. I'm gonna add the shape panel. So let's see if this works. Um, so what I need to do, actually I'll create a new class called application. So in this application, actually no, I'll delete that class. Everything's gonna be called in the frame. So in my public frame, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say public static Say shape panel goes new shape panel. Let's just do that in there. Um, let's see. If we run our driver, there we go. We have our shape panel, but we need to make this a bit bigger. So what I'm going to do is go to my shape panel. Just going to extend the height to 500 or 800, right? So I'm going to do 750 actually. The height and the width. I'm just comparing it to the frame so I know where to set it. So the frame will be, let's do 600. Now let's see if this resizability thing works so yeah that's a bit too big so we change the height to 700 and I'm going to change the X coordinate to 8 so you can play around with these values but I prefer you guys to follow what I'm doing so that you'll have a good understanding of uh, where I want to place the components and what I want to do with them. So, oh, that's a bit too lower now. So let's do 720. It's going to be 720. Now I could use the um, IntelliJ Builder for GUIs, so it will actually design the thing for me. I can just place components there, but that won't actually show you the code that's going into the back end when I'm doing it. So this is actually showing you the back end code what I'm actually doing to set it or what I'm actually doing to um, set the panels and stuff let's make that a bit bigger 740 might do it oh, just a bit more 745 and that should do it I'm sorry if the computer fan is disturbing you guys, but I really can't do anything about that. So yeah, this is a substantial size for our J panel. And now I'm just going to extend the width as we are done that. So I'm do 800. Oh, let's do a bit more. Do 1000 or 900. Okay, that's pretty good. Now we need to add a second J panel right over here. And what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna create a new, oh, no, no, I need to go to calculation panel right now. And what I'm gonna do is, just gonna create a new uh, reference variable, which we can use, so public static 
J panel. Let's import that. Public static J panel. Calc panel. This new J panel. Let's do public calculation. Oops. Calculation panel. And in here we will just uh, do calc panel dot set bounds. Ah, oh, okay, so now we need to, what does this say? Totally class, okay, so. There we go. Or maybe not. Or who cares? You could just do that. Um, so IntelliJ has a way of giving warnings whenever they need, but this is fine because we already have this uh, in. So let's focus on this. Calc panel dot set bounds. Okay, where do I want to set the bounds? I'm gonna set the bounds to. Uh, let's see, 900 for the X and 10 for the Y. For the width, I want it to be 200. And the height, I want it to be the same as this one, which is 745. And I'm going to set the... Maybe I can just copy from here. Set background and set layout. I can do that. And then we can do calc panel. There we go. Okay, now we need to add it to the frame. So I'll just do frame.appframe.add. So now let's call, um, or maybe I could just put these into methods instead of calling them raw. So I'll make a, a new one called public void uh, set components. So in this one we, we will have our instantiations. There we go. Then call set components from here. Shape panel, shape panel equals new shape panel, and then calculation, calc panel equals new calculation panel. And then, okay, so let's run that. Oh, because the background is white, it won't differentiate from it. So let me change this to another color. Let's do magenta. Even though I'll we'll change this later. Um, so whoa, it's a pretty big panel there. Let's shorten that. Width is gonna be, let's do 100. Um, oh, some, something happened. Maybe instead of doing the method, I could just do this. Something's wrong. Well, maybe instead of doing that, let's go to our shape panel. Instead of doing that, what we could do is frame dot add. Shape panel dot shape panel add frame dot add relation panel cal panel I don't think that's gonna do anything because um
So we could just leave that there. So actually what I'm going to do is create a new class called application, right? So in application, I'm going to have a public application. So I'm going to say frame, frame, this new frame. Or maybe we don't need to do that. <clears throat> well, I don't think there's anything wrong, but maybe it's the sizes of the frames that I need to change. Oh, I changed this to magenta, that's why. Oh, there we go. Oh, I found the problem. So silly of me. Okay, this should be magenta. So what happened was that I changed the shape panel color to magenta instead of the other one. Oh, so that was stupid, but now it's fine. Well, now you can see this is the panel there, but I want it to be a bit bigger. Change the X to 1000, maybe? Um, and let's change the width to 130. Now let's see what that happens. Okay. Um, with 120. Oh, actually I need to make it bigger. So I'll do 150. And let's change the X to 950. We're getting there, we're getting there. So 930, width will be 200. Bear with me here. Okay, getting closer. Let's do 920, width to do 220. All right. We have got this part down, now we just need to shift and make the width a bit bigger. So let's do 240. Oh, 260. There we go. That's the size I want. Uh, let's shift the X to 910, and then we're done. Let's make that 265, and now we're done. Or maybe just a bit. 67. Uh, 68. So this is actually measured in pixels. So this is how we actually have to do it. Okay, let's just do 270. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so now we are done our panels. Now we just need to, um, now we just need to draw our shapes and we need to set up the calculations fields. So first actually I'm gonna draw the shape for you guys. So what I'm gonna do is go to resource. I'm gonna make a new package called graphics. And in graphics, we're actually going to have a new class 
called quadrilateral. Now, I'm going to teach you guys how to draw a quadrilateral in Java. Uh, so this is a 2D graphics that we're going to use. And so uh, what we want to do with this quadrilateral is actually resize it and change the X and Y coordinates based on the user's um, actually not change the X and Y coordinates based on the user's input. We only want to change the width and the height based on based on the user's input and the uh, and the X and the Y coordinates we're going to change with sliders. So you you will you will know what I mean later. But uh, first we're actually going to draw the quad and then I'm going to end the video because it's getting too long. And in next in the next video we're actually going to finish up drawing the components so and make it really nice for the user to see. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to define some variables called private int x, private int y, private int width, private int height, and then I'm going to have a constructor quadrilateral. It's going to contain our int width and int height. Well, there we go. And so this is going to extend um, j component. So what jcomponent is, it's a component class which has the, um, it actually holds, it is actually the base class for each and every component in Java. So a jpanel is extending jcomponent, jframe extends jcomponent, so everything actually extends jcomponent. I think so. But we're going to extend jcomponent. Some people actually extend from jpanel, but I don't like doing that. I like extending from jcomponent. So what I'm going to do is actually say, uh, let's say this dot width is equal to width and this dot height is equal to height height there we go uh, no I don't want to make that final we're gonna have some getters and setters so follow what I'm doing here I want to go to code up top generate getter and setter so this is going to actually generate the getters and setters, which we'll need later. So this is going to generate... Oh, actually something happened. Actually, uh, jcomponent actually already has the x and y defined. So actually, I don't want to do that. Let me call this x quad. Call this y quad. Width quad. Height quad or else it'll mix up with the other variable names. Quad. And now let's generate the getters and setters. Getter and setter. Uh, I actually don't know how to do this in Eclipse, but um, I'm gonna change that method name. Get x quad capitalized get y quad set y quad there we go okay so for the getter for the x we just do public in get x quad and return x quad so these are just methods uh, which get the get get these uh, member fields and then for the set for the set um, member fields we actually set them to our to whatever we want to set them and because this is an int we have to pass a number so yeah, that, those were the getters and setters that we need. Um, now we need to actually draw the shape. So what I'm going to do, what I'll do is actually, I'll say public void paint, graphics G, let me add a at override there, need to enter that, import class. We'll do super dot paint paint component G and now I'll actually pass a graphics 2d parameter to this if I can remember how to do it graphics G equals new maybe no graphics 2d equals new G2d new graphics 2d I think we need to pass G there 
Maybe I did it the wrong way. Um. Because I'm casting to a graphics 2D object. Oh, maybe I forgot how to do it. Mm, let's just forget about it. We actually don't need the graphics 2D. It's just a um, better implementation of the graphics class, which is used um, to draw actually things. <clears throat> so, or we could actually just search up here, graphics. 2D casting. Oh, there we go. We do it this way. So graphics 2D, graphics 2D, G2D equals uh, graphics. 2D of G. Is that how they did it? Graphics 2D casting. Well, I actually forgot how to do it before. Um, so we could use the graphics, but I really want to use the graphics 2D for a reason. Graphics 2D casting in Java. There we go. Graphics 2D G2 equals graphics 2D G. 2D G. So what this does, it actually converts this graphics component into a graphics 2D component. So each time we actually draw something, we want to use this one, not the graphics one. So now we can start drawing. So we can say g2d.fillRect. Now I'm going to set the X and the Y myself actually. So let me do set x quad. Um, let me do a hundred. Set y quad. Let's do three hundred for that one. And then we have. Actually, for this one, I will pass our width quad and our height quad. So width quad and height quad. Oh yeah, I remember you can't do it like that. So you actually have to do get x quad, or maybe not. Or we could just hard code the values actually. Um, so we could actually do x squad equals 100, y quad equals 200, maybe 300. Let's just try that. Uh, GTT dot fill rect. So I'm going to do width quad, sorry, x squad, x squad, and y quad. And there you go. We have that. And I'll do g2d dot set background color dot black. So when we have our color chooser, this is going to actually act differently. But for now, I just want to draw the component there. So we have that there. And yeah, we are done the quadrilateral class. Now what we can do is we need to we need to actually do this. In our shape panel, we need to define a method, which is public void, public void draw quad. And I'm going to get the, I'm going to say public static.
Pumpkin Static, Quadrilateral, Quad, because new Quadrilateral. We need to pass in the width and the height. Uh, so I'll pass in 300 of 300, which is be a square. Draw quad, do quad dot set bounds. So this will actually set the bounds of the quad, not the actual quad uh, dimensions itself. So quad dot set bounds. Uh, let's do quad dot set bounds. I'm gonna make it in the middle of the screen. So I wanna do, or maybe set bounds might work. We do 300, 300. Width will be 300. That's the same for that one. And then quad is a little true. And I'm going to add it to the frame. So I'm going to do frame. So this stop add. Shape panel. Add. Quad. Now I wanna call the method draw quad. Now I, hopefully this will draw a quadrilateral for us. Hopefully. And it didn't for some reason. So maybe there's something wrong in the quadrilateral. Maybe you have to draw the rectangle. Or maybe. We'll do that. Well, there we go. We need to do D2D. Yeah, I see that doesn't work. So instead of doing this, we do g dot g dot draw rect. Uh, X will be 100, 100 with quad at quad. G dot fill rect again. And G dot set color, color dot black. Now, in here, um, okay. There we go. We have our square there. So the only problem was instantiating a new graphics 2D object and passing the G parameter there. I essentially don't like to use that one. But now this will work for us, so let me just, you know, just uh, resize my thing. So G dot fill back to, let me set the X coordinate to 60, maybe 70. Change that to 70. Y will be 60. This will also be 60. Let's try that. Mm. Or maybe it's not these ones that we need to worry about. No, these ones are fine. It's actually these ones. So 200. 200. So let's see if that will work. Oh, there you go. You can see. So I do 220. Resize that to. Eighty to 
30 actually. And the Y will stay at 180. Okay, that's pretty good. So yeah, guys, we have finished. Today what we've done is we finished creating a quadrilateral successfully. We've uh, created many classes, and we have successfully placed the components that we need. So next video, I'll be talking about um, how to place the other components and how to resize the shape dynamically. So stay tuned, like and subscribe, comment, and I'll see you next time. Bye.